Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get the selected radio button value in Excel. Let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output again. Click on red, two is blue, four is purple, three is black. So whatever the selected radio button I'm getting here. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this example, I'm creating a new blank workbook. And here we got the blank workbook sheet. The file name is a book one. Now first we require four radio buttons. For that I'm selecting go to the dollar path. If you don't know how to add the developer menu, if you don't have developer menu in this menu bar, go to file, options, in the options, notice there is a customize button, ribbon, click that one. In the customize ribbon, under main tabs, there is a developer. Let's check that one. If it's unchecked, the developer will be disappeared. So let's add again, options, customize ribbon dollar click ok now we got the dollar menu now click the dollar menu and the dollar ribbon notice there is a under controls there is an insert controls option here open that one now we've got two types of controls form controls and the active x controls now i'm selecting the radio button from the form controls so select the radio button and here drag and drop here now let's add red i'm adding some color names just for the example control c control v i'm adding the second radio button let's make it blue the third radio button is black and fourth one let's add purple now we have four radio button controls now my aim is when a user clicks the radio button i want to display that selected radio button value uh, on the selected sheet so if i select the blue i will get the blue so first the main important step after adding the radio buttons right click the radio button notice we got the farm control click that one and the farm controls there is a control tab option at the last first make this unchecked now notice the cell link option here with the text box control this is very important step whenever we are dealing with the farm controls we are we require the reference link which is a cell link the cell link is any link which is empty one let's select the l1 because every radio button controls have the uh, index value the index value will display here in l1 have selected click ok so now we got zero here now notice here 0 1 2 is blue 3 is black and 4 is purple now i want to get the selector radio button value here so i'm selecting the cell 4 the formula is is equals to if if condition the logical text l1 l1 what is l1 the cell link number if l1 is equals to 1 l11 one one means red is equals to comma value if true is red again if condition let's make it comma here again if condition now again logical test logical test l1 is equals to 2 now two value is blue is blue 
um, close this one uh, comma again if condition the logical test is l1 is equals to 3 comma here it's not is equals to it's a comma here l13 which is black which is black now last one is a 4 which is obviously it's purple color 4 false now make sure all the parentheses are closed we have three open parentheses so close three parentheses enter so black here for purple so something went wrong here here it's not false it's purple purple let's add the purple now let's check the final output if i click red red is one is red two blue three is black and four is purple now if you don't want to hide now if you don't want to hide just select this cell l1 go to home and make it as fun color white now it won't display here in l1 now let's check the final output again click one red two is blue four is purple three is black so whatever the selected radio button i'm getting here that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to get the selected radio button value in excel sheet thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial